what is growth? It is the process of physical maturation resulting in an increase in size of the body and various organs. It occurs by multiplication of cells and an increase in, in intracellular substance. It is quantitative changes of the body. What is development? It is the process of functional and physiological maturation of the individual. It is progressive increase in skill and capacity to function. It is related to maturation and myelination of the nervous system. It includes psychological, emotional and social changes. It is qualitative aspects. Principles of Growth and Development 1. Principle of Continuity The development follows the principle of continuity which means that development is a continuous process. It starts with prenatal and ends even after maturity has been attained, development does not end. Changes continue which lead to the period of life known as senescence or old age. These changes continue until death ends the life cycle. 2. Principle of Sequentiality Every species, whether animal or human, follows a pattern of development peculiar to it. This pattern in general is the same for all individuals. In prenatal development there is a genetic sequence, appearing at fixed intervals with certain characteristics. The directional sequence of development during both prenatal and postnatal stages may either be, I, from head to foot, or, 2, from the central axis to the extremities. 3. Principle of Generality to Specificity Development proceeds from general to specific. In all areas of development, general activities always precede specific activity. For example, in early postnatal life, infants wave their arms randomly. They can make such specific responses as reaching out for an object near them. 4. Principle of Differentiality Developmental changes do not always go forward in a straight line. While the development of different physical and mental traits is continuous, it is never uniform. Individuals differ in the rate of growth and development. Example, boys and girls have different development rates. Each part of the body has its own particular rate of growth. 5. Development proceeds from the head downward. Principle of Cephalicaudal. This principle describes the direction of growth and development. The head region starts growth at first, following by which other organ starts developing. The child gains control of the head first, then the arms and then the legs. 6. Development proceeds from the center of the body outward. Principle of Proximodistal. This principle describes the direction of growth and development. The head region starts growth at first, following by which other organ starts developing. The child gains control of the head first, then the arms and then the legs. 9. Growth is a personal matter. Each child grows in his own personal manner. He or she should be permitted to grow at his, her own rate. If we expect too much. He or she may does even less than he or she is able to do. 10. Growth comes from within. One or surrounding environment can encourage or can hinder the energy of a child, but the drive force that pushes a child to grow is carried inside him. Parent or teacher job is to clear the track, guide the child with loving acceptance and then relax and enjoy. 11. Growth has certain characteristics common at particular stages. 12. Growth is gradual and orderly but uneven, 